Our first guest tonight is a very talented actress and producer. Her latest project, Erased, The Murder of Elma Sands, is available now on Apple Podcasts. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Allison Williams, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for having me back. A lot's changed since the last time you're Arlo. You have a baby who yeah. is turning two in November. Yeah. How is it? It is so wild. He's like a full, when I watch baby videos of him now, it feels like I'm watching him trapped in a body that didn't like, didn't, yes. didn't perform in the way that he needed. <laughs> yeah. I watch him like make the sounds that newborns make and I'm like, oh my God, he was trying to tell us so much. <laughs> <laughs> And we didn't know, we just thought he was like, you know, had a dirty diaper or something. He was yeah. trying to ask very complex questions. Yes. Yeah. It is funny how they, you can try, you can't think, you can look backwards. You can yes, see him now and imagine, forward. you can't project forward, but you can no. go, oh yeah, the, you were gonna be this the whole time. Yeah, it's and impossible. he is like just consistently that guy. Yeah, and now you're coming up, it's Halloween, and you're in that sweet spot where you still get to decide the we costume. You get to decide, which right. meant a bear costume yeah. on the internet that does not in any way resemble a bear. Okay. It is a heavily air-quoted bear. It's really just, it has like an, a white oval on the stomach and it's sort of like a puke brown. Uh-huh. And Pass. so was this sort of a last-minute purchase that you it's, got such a bad you know, bear? I understand the question yeah. and the spirit in which it was asked. <laughs> um, I'm so embarrassed to say it was very premeditated. <laughs> And it arrived quite a bit ago, and I have yeah. been stuck with it. There's also a backup firefighter costume because he's very into firefighting. Oh, that's smart. It is, I well, will no, say. Well, no, let me amend that. He hasn't put out any fires <laughs> yet. He's he very just... into firefighting. Yeah. It's a very funny thing to say about someone who's not yet two. Yeah. You're like, how, how often is he running into fires? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, not frequently. Yeah. Here's the thing. He's like a busy, like, working I almost said working man. <laughs> he has that bearing. He wakes up like already kind of overwhelmed by all the things he has to do. He looks outside, he's like, oh, we have to leaf blow. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, yeah, it's fall. It's sort of like your big season for the leaf blower. All summer we were just moving the grass around, but now it's like, this is the big leaf. He's like, I gotta start setting my alarm earlier. There's too much, I'm gonna, this day goes by too fast. <laughs> so fast. Do you guys dress up? As no, parents, that's okay. That's a hard no. Yeah. I forgot that that was like a thing until yeah. someone asked me a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I can't. We, I kind of play I like a sophisticated version of dress up for a living. I agree. So it's, I, I also. Thank you for agreeing it's sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, it's mostly that I share the reason behind it and I've never thought it was sophisticated. So I'm jumping in on <laughs> like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's yes, what yes it is. of course. Yes, it's um, my dress. Yeah, when, even today when, when, when adults invite us to a party and they're like, and it's, you know, wear costumes. I'm like, or we have other plans? Or, yeah. <laughs> I once, I was Waldo one year and that was like a pretty simple. That's a good idea. That's a good adult. Costume. Yeah, because people know what it is. You yeah, so you don't and have they that, can like, be a long conversation. Really, exactly, they can really be like vertical or horizontal as long as you have red and white, like people or yeah. glasses. People just like get it. When people come up to me at a party and they're like, "Do you get it?" I always want to be like, "I don't get any of it. <laughs> I don't get what we're even doing here." <laughs> what is this holiday? Yeah, I, the, I understood dressing up if in return for it, an old person gave me candy. But what we're doing now is beyond. As me. adults, is so true. <laughs> beyond me. And it's cold, and everyone wants to be sexy. But the other thing is, when you see it through a kid's point of view, it's all so arbitrary. Yeah. Like you pass like a pumpkin with a face carved in it, and I'm like, I don't know where to start. We have. Yeah all kinds of plants and gourds around us that we don't hack away at. Yeah. And yet this particular thing we've decided we're just gonna <laughs> demolish yeah. once a year. <laughs> it's so strange. It's like, and yeah, why do people put skeletons? And how do you explain a skeleton? I know, that's the thing. My kids are already asking me enough questions without more. Yes. <laughs> cool it with your front steps uh, skeletons. Yeah, they're very elaborate and sometimes music's playing and yeah. they're kind of scary. When uh, my kids are like, why is there a skeleton on the front steps of that brownstone? I'm like, everyone in there died. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really... <laughs> that's how you know everybody in that house died and that's... I love, a... you have such a gentle touch <laughs> as a dad. Yeah, well, if you don't say it like a bad thing, they're just like, okay, cool. If you're yeah. not like, everyone in there died, then they're like, oh, but they're like, yeah, everyone in there died and yeah. you're gonna die one day too and it's yeah. fine. And so am I. We're all gonna die. Yeah. It's crazy, it's yeah. crazy for you to go to school thinking you're gonna live forever. <laughs> Or do anything. Or do anything. Assuming you're gonna live forever. Um, I wanna ask about uh, your parents, now grandparents. Yes, I'm a they big... are still my parents, but they have also become grandparents. Yeah, it's really cool, they didn't, they weren't like, they didn't we're... become my grandparents. They're like, we have bad news. 
<laughs> you don't have parents anymore. But, <laughs> yeah, but wait. good news, yeah. where are your new grandparents? Yeah, um, no, they are. Uh, so Brian and Jane, yeah. how are they taking to it? They're obsessed. I yeah. mean, like, I don't know how to describe. First timers, like, right? First timers. Yeah. I don't know how to describe the love because I've never experienced it, but they are like. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Did I you did realize not realize you, what you, I was all saying. All of a sudden, we're in therapy, and you forgot all these people were here. Well, I didn't know you had an audience of just there. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Very weird know? choice. It's Therapist Wednesday. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, I meant that I haven't experienced the love of a grandparent. Yeah. Um, as Arlo is only two, as is well established. So, but they were like, "Yeah, I assume we're going to be crazy about him." And then what's happened is now I get texts that are like, "I need a hit." I yeah. Need a fix. I'm coming by. I'm coming by just to smell his head, or yeah. like I want to get him out of the nap to get the breath. And I'm like, okay, do you do whatever you need to do? Right. And they're so great. I just am very lucky. They're very. What close. about have? What does he call them? I'm always fascinated. The verdict by. ended up. My dad is Bub. Oh, that's good. Bub. Yeah. Bub. It's like short and sweet. Yeah. Um, and then my mom is JJ, but Arlo speaks French and English, so okay. it's kind of like Gigi. Oh, and that's, we that's real good. Don't know how to spell it, <laughs> so he's gonna have to like grow up, start spelling, and right. tell us. how He's to gonna spell. have to reverse engineer his <laughs> exactly. baby name for your mother. Exactly. That's also, really... for any future grandchildren, like yeah. Sorry, this is well, just well. That the is the funniest name. thing, right? You, the first kid establishes the name. Yeah. So, because we call uh, my parents are the Pankas, because before my uh, son could say grandpa, he said Panka. And so now we call them the Pankas. And it's so funny when you say it in front of other people because they just assume that, like, it's my couple. parents are like old world Romanians. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like rap shawls. They're like, we are the Pankas. Uh, I have a bunch of questions to ask you. Uh, we're going to be right back with more from Allison Williams.